Uh, some sad news, my last rent check bounced. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have wrote it on a basketball. <laughs> Are you guys my landlord? Uh, I get lonely sometimes, I need to get lonely. No, well, I'm perfectly fulfilled relationships. A few honest souls here, right? All right, here's what I do when I get lonely. I'll give you advice. Here's what I do when I get lonely. I just put on a red shirt and hang out at Target. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's talking to me. <laughs> I, uh, I watch a lot of podcasts, and they have a lot of ads on podcasts for dick pills. Have we seen this? Have we jacked off to this? <laughs> they have a lot of ads for like erectile dysfunction medication. And it's like, you'll be listening to a podcast and it's like, does your dick not work? Try Blue Chew or whatever. And it's like, if your dick doesn't work, maybe try not listening to podcasts. Does <laughs> that occur to you? Um, yeah, my friend asked me the other day, he said, hey, what do you like better, McDonald's or Burger King? And I was like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't really eat fast food. My friend was persistent. He was like, okay, but like, gun to your head, what would you say? Like, what would you say, gun to your head? And I was like, I don't know. This probably would say, gun to my head. Like, oh God, don't fucking shoot! I don't know, McDonald's. <laughs> so, uh, something about me, I'm a closeted gay man. Wait, shit. Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> Restart my time. Uh, no, I'm an openly gay man. Clap it up. Clap. I actually am gay. Yeah, who's not clapping? Hate crime. I know it's not our monthly. No, I came out of the closet as gay a little late in life. Like, I was 20 years old. So, like, I didn't realize my celebrity crushes were crushes at the time. You know what I mean? It turned, like, I realized later, it turns out one of my biggest celebrity crushes growing up was Jim from The Office. <laughs> Have we seen this? Have we jacked off to this? <laughs> Uh, that's a yes. <laughs> he was hot with the hair and everything, you know. But I realized, like, my celebrity crush, it wasn't John Krasinski. He was Jim from The Office. <laughs> like, I realized my sexual attraction to Jim from The Office, it hinged on him being mean to Dwight. <laughs> what I'm saying is I want toxic men to fuck me. <laughs> that's why I do comedy. <laughs> Did we like the show growing up? Do we like the show That's So Raven? Hell yeah. Yes. Have we seen this? Have we jacked off to oh, this? Yeah. <laughs> so in, in That's So Raven, she has like a superpower. She's clairvoyant. She can see the future. She gets visions of the future, right? So she could see the future. How did she not see that she was going to be super lesbian? She's <laughs> <a> mad lesbian. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I recently started seeing someone. Yeah, he's six inches tall, he's dressed like a pirate, and I think I have schizophrenia. <laughs> Seeing a man. <laughs> yeah, I recently got cat called. I picked up the phone and I started, meow, meow, meow! <laughs> um, yeah, I actually, I, yeah, I'm gonna say that got what it deserves. <laughs> Yeah, I am a, I'm a proud cat owner. It's the only pussy I like, right? Um, no, I, I have two cats. I adopted two cats last year. And I, I called my dad to tell him that I got cats, and he wasn't thrilled. Like, I called my dad, he's like, what, you got cats? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, do you feed them? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, did you get a litter box? I mean, yeah, what do you think I got two cats to just shit and die in my apartment? <laughs> That's the dream. It really is. Um, yeah, big news, uh, I just stopped watching porn. <laughs> With headphones. <laughs> yeah, I just, I pull that shit out and I put it on full blast. Because the way I see it is like, look, if you're on the subway, you're gonna hear some shit anyway. <laughs> Yeah, call the cops, sure. <laughs> Some things with the subway, but you know what I hate? I hate people that bring bikes on trains. What's the, guys, what's the deal with that? Maybe we should be like talking like Seinfeld, that's how I'm saying, I'm about it. I'm not gonna be friends. Like, why are you bringing a bike on a train? That's ridiculous, right? 
Like you have a vehicle. Like just take the vehicle where you're going. <laughs> Why do you have a vehicle inside another vehicle? What kind of Russian nesting doll bullshit is this? <laughs> That's like if a guy's about to have sex with a human woman, and then he's like, hey, can we just see if we can squeeze my pocket pussy in here too? <laughs> it's got a little more Scotia action. In the hair. Uh, um. Hey, you know that during sex, uh, have we had sex? <laughs> have you seen this? Have we jacked off to this? <laughs> uh, you know during sex, stereotypically, if a guy is trying not to come, he thinks about what? Me. No. <laughs> if a guy if a guy's trying not to come, stereotypically he thinks about like baseball, right? I've always wondered, like, what do women no, no, that's not women. I've always wondered, like, what do what do women think about during sex if they're trying not to come? I don't know, maybe like the guy that's fucking them? <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Um, uh, uh, hey, does anybody do cocaine? Good, I'm a cop. One person, one person on the Okay, I just need to smell your cocaine real quick. <laughs> no, I was really wondering this. Why is blow called blow? I'm pretty sure if you blow on it, someone's gonna get really mad. <laughs> You're gonna owe someone $900? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just saw a trailer. There's a new Pixar movie coming out. It's set in New York City. Yeah, it's a Pixar movie set in New York City. It's gonna be called A Bag Box Life. <laughs> Uh, I just want to know one thing, folks. If you're not supposed to get drunk off NyQuil, <laughs> then why does it come with a shot glass? <laughs> All right, that's my time, guys. Let's get